Hey guys, welcome back to the 1.12 pack where today we're going to make a mob grinder XP farm thing, but it's going to be automated. And to do that, we're going to use the industrial foregoing mod. So we're going to need this and we're going to need a mob crusher and potentially a mob slaughter factory because the mob crusher kills the mobs and this, it, it turns them into liquid meat, which if you then have the meat feeder, it will, it automatically feeds you. So I will never need to eat again. And that could be very nice. But the, the main thing is the mob crusher because that's the one that gives you XP, I think. So to make this all, I think, am I being really confused or did I just see something pop up there? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, wait a second. How did I do that? That's really weird. It must have, it must have like, kind of shifted that into there that's really strange right well anyway to make the stuff we need i think we've got everything so the first thing we absolutely definitely need to do is make a tree fluid extractor because that is what extracts the latex which you then send to a latex producing unit and that makes the tiny rubber and then you need nine tiny rubbers you craft them in this in like a block sort of thing and that'll make some sort of a, I don't know rubber plastic thing and then you smelt that and then that actually gives you the plastic so let's make the tree fluid extractor first tree fluid extractor I should have everything I need a few of these so I'll need let's make three let's make three of these that should hopefully speed up the production of plastics I'm pretty sure it is quite a slow process so that should be all of that. I wish you could like, instead of it just making one, you could choose how many you make. That would be, that would be nice because that would save me having to click all of this in here. And then two of these. There we go. And I, does this need power? That's a, that's a thing that I don't actually know because I know the latex producing unit does, but I can't remember if this one does. But basically what you do, Place it. I don't know why I've come over here because I don't actually think it needs to be a tree that's like growing. You can literally just do this. At least I think you can. And then that, yeah, look, it is. Latex is going up, but as you can see, it is pretty slow. So what we'll do is I'll put a few of these down and then I'll cut back when we've got enough latex. Much, much, much later. Right, so I don't think we've got anywhere near enough latex yet, but I thought I'd show you how like this sort of thing works. So pretty much latex producing unit and pitiful fuel generator, put them back to back like that. Then any fuel really can go in, but not any fuel can go in as it turns out. But yeah, you just put the fuel in there and then it'll burn it. Good, there isn't a creeper coming to kill me. And then that should store the energy here. That's perfect. Now, you take the latex bucket, click it into there, latex goes up, and then you need water, click it into there, and then tiny dry rubber. But as you can see, you need quite a lot to make, well, any significant amount. So, this is going to take a while. There we go, 3,822 years later, we've finally got enough plastic. And admittedly, we have more than enough because I thought you actually needed four pieces per, um, like, mob crusher slash mob slaughter factory, but it's actually only two. So, to be honest, I had a, I had enough a, lo a long time ago, but um, we've got spare, I suppose. What am I missing? Ah, golden gears. I forgot about them. But they're not too difficult to make. I'll need four, I think. I don't really know, though, to be honest. Right, so that, that should be enough. Mob crusher, we want two of these. So we need another two. Actually, technically it is four, but as in like four for these two. But yeah, I thought it was four each. So yeah, that that was a, a lot of wasted time is what I'll say. Like a, a lot of wasted time. Hang on, I need another. Oh, you can't stack swords. That's just annoying. We go two of them. Mob slaughter factory. We need another two golden gears. I see. Go. Mob slaughter factory. Put them there. Another two plastic. And another sh machine frame. 
And then, how did it go? Was it axes on the bottom or was it axes on the top? It was axes on the bottom. Perfect. So, if you remember, there was... I don't actually know what it's called. Some sort of tomb thing over in this direction and it had two spawners in. So, that is obviously where we're going to make our mob grinder slash slaughter factory thing. Because it should... I mean, unless for some reason the mod makes it so less things spawn in. Why is there a fire over here? Oh, it's just, it's just a mob on fire. That's fine. Yeah, but unless it makes it so that... Why has that zombie got wings? Okay. Ah, there's a thing on horse. Yeah, but unless it makes it so less things spawn in, which it shouldn't, we're going to have an unbelievable amount of... um, an, an, an unbelievable amount of XP. Can you please die? There we go. Here we are, and the plan is I'm thinking we go for this direction, for this direction, but well, when I say for this direction, I obviously just mean to put a wall up. We go three down, and then four that way and four that way, and make some, like, massive, huge, ginormous spawn room, and then we'll have them pushed into the middle. We may need to play around with the water sources for that, though, because water only travels seven blocks, I think, or seven from the spawn block, so eight in total. Yeah, so admittedly, two things went wrong, in that I kind of forgot you needed generators to actually make the mob crushers and slaughter factories work. Um, and secondly, kind of forgot that I wasn't recording, so I've been talking to myself for like a few minutes, but in that time I did realise something, because the mob crushers don't really have um, too big of a, what's it called, a, a chest thing, a, a, an inventory. So what I was thinking I could do is have some sort of chest thing like this and hopefully it does aha look that does work that, that's really good because now i can filter them all into here and i can get loads and loads of loot and also look that's like five minutes or something like that that seven thousand essence i don't know what that is in xp but that's quite a lot um and also six thousand liquid meat that's also quite a lot of um stuff so, now let's make the meat feeder. Oh yeah, glass balls. Um, why can't I... I'm really confused as to why... I, I clearly have glass in my inventory. Here we go. Meat feeder. Done. And then I think just to get the um food out, just put that there. Yeah, we go. And then it fills up. And then 6,000 out of a lot of meat. And then basically, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can lower my hunger bar. Actually, do you know what? Whilst I try and do that... Although saying that, no, it, it won't lower, will it? It'll just eat. It'll just eat it automatically. Yeah, but anyway, I'll go and show you the um, the insides of the mob grinder. Because it's a bit... It's a bit random. Like, look at all the signs that I had to use to get this to work. Like, it's it's very unorthodox, but it does work. So that's that's the main thing. And basically... That is it for the episode, I think, because we've got our ex- Oh, I nearly took fall damage there. Hmm. <clears throat> I will need something there, though, won't I? That's a bit annoying, because then... Maybe it's a trapdoor. A trapdoor might work there. But yeah, how do you get the XP out? You just put bottles in, do you think? No, how do you... Oh, so it's an essence bucket. Can I just question... Where did the buckets go there? Um, I'm really confused. Where did did that give me levels there? I wasn't I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, it's they're there. I see. So then what? Do I like drink it? What What do I do with this? I really should have thought about this before making it, but I'm pretty sure this is XP. Basically, how you do this is you put the essence down. And then you drink it through this straw. And it's not too difficult to make. It's just four plastic. So it's very nice. You don't get too much XP. But it is insanely easy to get. And that's just with one um, crusher working. Once I get this one going as well, that should be insane XP. And it should be pretty decent loot, I hope. I mean, that's not very, it's not very good, is it? <laughs> but also, something weird is, do you see these angel ones? When they die, they send like a an angel projection up into the sky, which is really weird. And also, the ones with the black armor, I think that's nano gear. 
which is actually really, really good, which is the reason they take so many hits to kill. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything, because... Where's it at? Oh yeah, the meat feeder. You can actually wear as a bauble, and it, it has been working, so that's perfect. I will need to get a lot more... Uh, liquid meat, so I'll AFK that for a bit, but let's Let me try and find a um An angel zombie so I can show you what what the uh, show you what I mean by the projection thing. It's really weird Right here we go. So watch once I kill this Look at what what is that? It's so weird like it's never done that before. I mean, maybe it's because it's a near Halloween But that's so I don't I don't get what the purpose of it is Maybe it's another mod. I, I just don't know, but it's it's really cool. Like it look it looks really cool. But anyway, that is it for the video. So hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll.